Hello friends and welcome. I'm gonna take this off. Welcome to our new moon. I believe it's in Cancer tonight. Reading. <laughs> so um I woke up this morning and just got the feeling that maybe maybe we could all benefit from a new moon energy reading, just seeing what is up, what's happening out there. Ooh. Magician, that's a good sign. I hope that comes up later. Anyway. So this is for all signs. It's a timeless reading, even though I'm doing it at the new moon today here in July of 2020. But yeah, you know what? Let's just let's just see what comes up for us here. What messages there are. If you guys like my content, please, please, please like, share, hit that subscribe button, guys. You guys know the drill. Make sure, please make sure you subscribe. I really, really appreciate it. If you are new to my channel, hi, how are you? It's good to meet you. And if you're returning, hello, welcome back. It is so great to have you again. And of course, as always, if you want to book a personal reading with me, you can do so on the website I will have in the description. Don't forget to take that... Um, or use that discount code that will be listed there for 20% off. It runs out at the end of July here. So just a few more short days to take advantage of that. But let's get into it here for our new moon for the collective for July 2020 here. What do we need to know? What messages are coming through for the collective for this new moon energy? All right, let's see what's up. Knight of Pentacles. Two of Cups. Page of Wands. Priestess. Interesting. Okay, let's just take a minute. Okay, you guys. Intuition is heightened for the next few weeks here. Um, particularly in the fourth week from now, it's going to be very, very, very up there. So make sure that maybe throughout this whole next four weeks, you're really kind of uh, harnessing that intuition, really working at it, making sure you're really heeding it, right? Listening to it. Maybe even do a little intuition exercises if you want to. Now there are some blessings coming in, okay? Blessings and some information that you're going to get in the next few weeks. It's coming very slowly, though, here with the Knight of Pentacles. Okay? It's very slow moving. In fact, by the time you get the information, you might feel like, am I the last one to know this? How come I didn't know this? Right? It's all about divine timing. Okay? You're going to get it when you need it. Right? That's going to spark... <sighs> wow. What is this? What am I doing with my hands? <laughs> it's going to spark some information, okay? It's going to spark you to get some ideas. It's going to inspire you in some way. And it's really going to um, kick that intuition into even higher gear, okay? Um, make sure in the next few weeks that you are very much paying attention to your close personal relationships. Okay, particularly if you're partnered, all right, make sure you're giving a little bit of extra attention to that relationship, okay? Um, yeah, and, and when I say attention, I mean positive, not like, oh, you're annoying the shit out of me, you know, like we can sometimes be with our partner, right? Try and focus, and I know it's going to be 
um, there's other things on your mind, right? It's going to be kind of a last resort to think about that. You're going to be, it'll be like the things that annoy you will be right forefront, but make sure that you're actively working on thinking of all the positives that your partner has and all the, the blessings they give you and all the good things, right? That's what you're, that's what you need to be focusing on. Okay. do we have here page cups some of you might be starting a new relationship I'm just gonna throw that out there okay all right so we have the page of cups strength five of pentacles six of pentacles okay I'm gonna put this so for some of you Be careful. Just be careful who you are giving your time, affection, love to. Okay. Whether it be friends, family members, relationships, what have you. Okay. Because I feel like you're giving and you're not receiving anything back. Right. And th then that makes you kind of go into panic mode and you're feeling kind of left out and in the cold and uh-uh. Okay. <laughs> Just... It does take strength to be alone. I understand that. Okay. I know a lot of people um, kind of have that mentality. Well, being with somebody is better than being with nobody. That isn't the case. Okay. It does take strength and it does, you know, take practice. And, you know, it is very easy to give and give and give and give to others, even though we may not be receiving back what we need from that, right? Um, so be very, very careful. Okay, for some of you, this relationship here, when I see that paired with the high priestess, this could be the relationship with your true self, your authentic self, okay, your higher self, whatever you want to call it. All right, it could be just really working on that relationship. Right. And maybe you've been searching for ways to do that. And then you find a way that works and you're able to tune in. Okay. But just in general, um, I mean, we're in the new moon and cancer and cancer is all about our feelings, right? Be very, very, um, be very, very aware of what people make you feel what. Okay. And if there, if there are some energy vampires out there, it's okay to not hang out with them all the time. It's okay to not engage. It's okay to not text or talk with them on the phone every day. Okay. So just make sure you're giving yourself just as much love and attention as you give to others. Okay. So that you don't get depleted in, in your own energy levels. Uh -huh. Three of Wands. Emperor, five of wands, ooh, ten of cups, beautiful. Okay, future planning, okay, possibly even travel for some of you, okay. Um, now's the time for long-term planning, looking ahead, but more so in the way of who... Again, we're talking about higher self here with the with the high priestess card. Who who is it that you want to be in the future? Right? Are are you getting closer to that person each and every day? Are you evolving? Or are you feeling kind of stuck? Right? That's what we're looking at here when we're thinking of the future. Where where can we start moving forward to get to where we want to be? As a spiritual self, right? As a higher self, as a as a human being, right? And I'm not talking about, oh, you know, I want to be a millionaire by the time I'm 35. I want to be debt free. That's not what we're talking about here. What kind of person, what kind of soul do you want to be? And how can you begin to take steps to really show that authentic self, right? Um, that might cause a bit of conflict here, okay? Um, 
possibly even if you're partnered with your partner, could be with a parent, could be with a boss, right? If you, um, as we try and take steps towards becoming more authentic, there are going to be some conflicts there, okay? Um, people will naturally fall out of your life. People will, you know, if, as you set up boundaries, might get a little bit upset with you, okay? It's normal, but the trick is to honor yourself, right? Um, and not give into that pressure. It's okay to, it is okay. I feel like some of you, some of you need to hear this. It is okay to put yourself first sometimes. Okay. And that's going to piss people off. I mean, it is, let's be honest. Okay. Um, but don't worry, like your family and your true friends, all right, they're going to get it. They might not understand it at first. There might be a few hiccups here and there, but ultimately they're going to embrace you. They are going to love you for who you truly are and for what you want to do and for who you want to be, okay? And the ones that don't fall in that category will naturally fall away, okay? But there's lots of love and acceptance around you. You just got to do it for yourself, right? Believe that for yourself. Yeah, Eight of Cups, walking away from old habits, right? We have the Two of Wands. The world is in your hands here, right? Yes, Page of Pentacles. I want you to play more. Okay. I feel like I've said this in a few readings for some of you, like bring in that, that inner child, right? Don't take life so friggin' seriously sometimes, right? Have fun with you. What, what, rediscover yourself, like rediscover things you used to do as kids. What, what did you love to do? Okay. What brought you joy? So really, really play, right? Work on your relationships. Take stock, how are they making you feel this month? And play, have fun with yourself. You know, um, if you want to take a rubber bouncing ball and just keep bouncing it on the ground and catching it by yourself, and that kind of calms you, brings you peace, do that, okay? Who cares what other people think, right? Maybe you want to, I don't know, go horseback riding or something. I don't know why that came in my mind, but you know, <laughs> whatever it is, right? We're walking away from old patterns and programming. That's what this is. We're taking stock of which relationships nourish our soul and which ones don't. The world is in our hands. We can become whatever we want to. Whoever we want to, more so. Okay? It's absolutely powerful. It is absolutely beautiful. I mean, <sighs> damn. Okay? Awesome. I'm just going to, where did I put my cards here? Just pull a couple more. Yeah, this is going to take a little bit of work, but you'll get there. Whoops, two came out, so we're going to go with that. Um, yes, you're being called. All right, you're called, you're being called to make a shift here. And again, this is all about emotions, relationships, and what fuels you, okay? You're being called to look at that, do the work, okay? Scale your life down a little bit, have more fun. Be just as obligated to you as others, okay? And justice card, beautiful. Things are gonna turn around. Things are going in your favor, okay? because you're going to take those steps to ensure it, right? If you're taking care of you, the world is going to start taking care of you. The universe is going to start taking care of you. Once you truly know, once you listen to that intuition and you just really truly understand who you are and what you want and allow yourself to have it, that's a big thing, right? absolutely beautiful. I mean, that's a good reading. 
right? It kind of fits perfectly with the whole new moon and cancer thing. New beginnings, relationships, very, very in the feels, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm kind of excited to see what we do with this. It's going to be very, very interesting next few weeks. Uh, yeah. Well done. All right. Thank you, everyone. Thank you so, so much for watching. Leave me a comment if this resonates or what you're looking forward to in the next few weeks. What do you want to see from me in the future? Let me know and I will talk to you on the next reading. Bye.